Hello and welcome to Access 2013 Tutorials. In this video I'm going to be talking you through concatenation. So if you want to play along, follow the link below the video to the download section of the website and download Access 2013 DB34. Open that up. Okay, I've done a bit on concatenation. What did I do that for? I've done a bit on concatenation before. Um, but I haven't really covered it in too much depth. But the, the idea is what I want to do today is to create or begin to create a data sheet for bookings so we can store some information about bookings. Um, and I'm going to create a query first of all and then I'm going to concatenate a couple of fields. There's not much point in me explaining to you what concatenation is. You either came to the video because you know what it is, you want to know how to do it a bit better, or if you don't know what it is, just follow along with the video and you'll probably learn more than me telling you. So let's close form main. I've got to create a query design. And we want table booking details and table bookings. Okay, and we need uh, we're going to booking ID, booking date, and guest ID. We need check in date check out the room ID and we're going to need notes um, so if we run it we get this but what I want is here I want to put a concatenated field in okay so if we click in the top here and click on builder um, we can call this anything we want let's call it um, details I think in the original database I made I called it cost and I don't know why. Okay, so what I wanted to say is X amount of nights at X cost per night equals then the full value. So we're giving ourselves a bit of information. Well, first of all, how do we work out the amount of nights? So let's just use a date diff function. So it's date diff. And date diff function gives us the difference between two dates. Um, so we want the difference between the check-in date and the checkout date. So table booking details dot check in date is the first date. Oh no, I lie. The very, very first thing we need is the interval, which is uh, open quotation mark D, sorry, little d, not that it matters, and clo close quotation mark and then comma. Okay, so the first thing is date diff. We need the interval to say what we're actually measuring, which is days. We then need the first date, which is the check in date. And then we need table uh, booking details dot check out date and then comma comma bracket. So we first thing we've got is a function that gives us the difference between the check in date and the check out date in days. So just run that to check that. Okay, so details here. So four. So the fifteenth and the nineteenth is four. 26 and 30 is 4, so that's fine. Go back to design view. So now here's the concatenation bit. Because I wanted to say, I don't want to say 4, I want to say 4 nights. Um, so we've got the first thing, which is a function return the date difference. We then use an ampersand and then open and close quotation marks, and inside that put a space and nights. Another space, press OK. So now we've got 4 nights. Yeah. So what we're doing is, we're, the idea of concatenation is we're just building up a string and we're not just hard coding a string, we're not just writing a string because then it would be the same for every single record, but we're building up a string that also contains variables, which is kind of a reasonable definition of concatenation. So we've got four nights at, and now we need to look up the cost of the um, night, so actually just delete that ampersand one sec, close that and go to the table rooms and we want cost per night from table rooms so we're going to use a DLOOKUP here so and DLOOKUP cost per night so the first thing we look is the field where first thing we put is the field we're looking up. And then we go from where, which is table rooms, and what's the criteria? Room ID equals and room 
well hang on let's go table booking details dot room ID FK okay so if you don't know about D lookups I've done another video not too long ago four or five videos ago on D lookup function so you can understand what we're doing here but basically we're passing the room ID and we're looking up the cost per night from table rooms based on that room ID now if we press OK and run it we get four nights at 120 four nights at 150 so it's taking this room ID here and giving us the cost back let's go back into design view go to details if we can um, and here put pound sign if you're in Britain a dollar sign if you're in America or whatever currency sign you need depending on where you are so four nights at 120 pound and then last but not least well not last but not least we're gonna say and four nights at 100 per night per note they are Dutch version okay per night um, equals four nights under for night equals um, and then what we've got to do is take all of that date diff function times and then we need all of that dlookup function press ok and run that yeah it contains invalid syntax why doesn't that surprise me okay four nights and per night equals so we need an ampersand here Okay, equals 480 equals 600. So we just need that pound sign in again. If you're me. Okay, uh, yeah, so four nights, so 120 pound per night equals 480 pound. Okay, that's, uh, I'll let you have a good look at that. In fact, I'll open up Shift F2 so you get a better view of exactly what's happening. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the string that we're passing in. So that is concatenation. We've basically created a string for every single record, but different parts of the string um, change depending on different other information in the record. So, for example, the date diff is the difference between the check-in and the check-out date. As that changes per record, this will change, and also the dlookup. Um, each record has a different room, so the cost per night will change as well. So we concatenate it put it all together and we end up with this four nights at 120 pound per night equals 480 pound so uh, let's save that query uh, actually before we save it let's do booking day descending so we get the newest one first and save it and call it query uh, bookings extended okay so that's concatenation uh, if that's a little bit confusing watch the video again it's just really important that when you make this field here you get the right you make sure you have all the ampersands and you get the right syntax as i was going to say just make sure you've got all the ampersands in the right place and you've got the right spaces uh, it is a little bit tricky it is a bit of a pain but it is worth doing okay so thank you for watching and see you next video